Hey guys, in this video, I'm just going to quickly sh demonstrate how to avoid your turns from ending automatically. So, it's a phenomenon early in the game when you only have one unit on the field. And oftentimes, what will happen is the game will attempt to end your turn automatically for you without actually prompting you with the little B button thing that pops up on the screen. So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate the phenomenon here and then I'll show you how to avoid it. Let's rush our warrior out, get him on the field. I believe this only happens when you have one unit and this was often happening to me when I take an enemy capital, my first warrior, and then it would skip my turn which was really annoying. So this is a good example. It will also happen when you hit a, hit a village like this. So I took the enemy village and then you'll see it skip my turn right here. See how that blue, those blue gears popped up and it skipped my turn? Well, that was pretty annoying because what I wanted to do, I wanted to rush that my warrior after getting that 25 gold. So that was pretty annoying and I missed an opportunity to get units out a little bit faster. So let me reload the state and I'll show you how to avoid it this time. At least the best, most consistent way that works for me. So we're, we're going to do we're going to do the exact same thing. There we go. Get our twenty five gold, and then we're going to plant our capital. Same thing. Just rush our warrior out and run over to the same spot. Now what we're going to do is I'll show you on the controller. What we're going to do is we're going to hit A to run up to the village, right? But right after I hit A, just keep mashing the right button, not the left button. Left button pulls up your city screen, right? What you're going to want to do is you're going to hit the right diplomacy button. So, A and then diplomacy. And that'll buffer that in there. And then it'll prompt you with end turn. So at this point, you can go and rush your warrior out. Now you're ahead of the game. And that way you didn't miss the opportunity to be in position... And this can help you a lot in multiplayer as well, not just single player. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Just remember, just hit the diplomacy button, right bumper on Xbox. Not sure what it is on the PS3, PS4, or any of the other platforms. But on Xbox 360, just hit that diplomacy button, and it will interrupt anything from ending. Just hit it right after you hit A, and you'll get that end turn prompt, just like we see in front of us right now. That's it. I hope it helps you out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.